to take funding out of that pot of money to solve another problem that the state has uh, would just be, you know, uh, creating bigger problems for schools. 73% of gross sales tax is constitutionally earmarked for the state school aid fund, but the amount of money they get could decrease if the state is no longer collecting that tax at the pump like the House bill proposes. The Senate approved a similar plan in November that increased wholesale fuel taxes, but did not eliminate the sales tax. I think the Senate takes a more practical approach uh, to the reality of, of what's out there. TCAPS currently receives about $7,200 from the state for each student. But if the House bill goes into law, TCAP says that number could decrease to about $6,700. And that's a funding level they haven't seen since the mid-2000s. Schools across the state uh, would be in big trouble. Um, our school system would have to look at major, major reductions. Any way you slice or dice it, it's a, it's a cut. And so, you know, you know when, you, when you look at uh, the school aid fund getting reduced again and again, uh, there needs to be, you know, an, another option. Governor Snyder says he opposes the House plan due to the cuts education could see. And I think people would agree that we need uh, f uh, new updated new roads, uh, a boost to our economy, but, you know, our position is that it shouldn't happen on the backs of our students, and uh, it's unacceptable.